a Target 12 investigator's exclusive troubled times at Eleanor Slater Hospital. To see Adam, he's peaceful, he's comfortable, he's happy. How can anybody take that away from these people? I, I just can't understand it. It just doesn't make any sense. For 26 years, this local woman has been visiting her son at the state-run Zamborano Hospital in Boroughville after a car accident left him with a traumatic brain injury. But with Zamborano and the rest of the Eleanor Slater Hospital system under the microscope for more than a year, she and others fear for the future of an institution they rely on. Target 12 investigator Tim White is here now with the exclusive details. The State House debate about Eleanor Slater's financial problems has overshadowed the actual patients who are getting critical care at the hospital, and family members we spoke to are growing frustrated. You know, what is Zamborano to Adam? It's home. It's family. It's his safe place. You know, mine too. Adam Pacheco has been a patient at the Zamborano unit of the state-run Eleanor Slater Hospital System since a car crash more than a quarter century ago left him with a traumatic brain injury. Adam was just 17 years old. We are a family here, and the people who are, how can I put it and be nice about it, the people in charge don't seem to understand or don't know the depth of what goes on here. The goal of tonight's hearing. Over the last year, Eleanor Slater has been the focus of intense oversight hearings at the State House, with lawmakers scrutinizing everything from patient care to whether the state has been improperly billing for federal Medicaid dollars. Union leaders have clashed with executives, creating what some describe as a toxic work environment. And the Attorney General's office has launched an investigation into the hospital's problems. Amid all the turmoil, Eleanor Slater has seen major turnover in its top ranks. And we've lost some good staff we've lost some good doctors why why is that the doctors mainly because of the ones that are in charge you think they drove them out it's it's be I'm pretty in my opinion it's because of the way things were being handled the hospital system's patient mix has been one of the flashpoints because the federal government cuts off Medicaid funding if psychiatric patients outnumber medical patients across Slater. I've been free for so long, it's like I don't even, I don't know what I'm missing, you know? Psychiatric patients like Tony Tavares. Last week somebody hit somebody in the head with a, with a, with a, with a jar of um, shaving cream in a pillowcase. I mean, it, it's not safe. Tavares is housed 30 miles south of Zamborano in one of the three units located on Eleanor Slater's Cranston campus. He's been a patient for 20 years after he was found not guilty by reason of insanity for fatally stabbing a social worker. It's not, it's not who I am, you know, and I don't want to hurt anybody. Like he was suffering from um, schizophrenia. He was suffering from mental illness. He was violent, he, he, and he had a psychi um, psychotic episode. Tavares's brother, Justin Votolato, says his family has been waiting for the state to move Tony to a less restrictive environment, like a group home, now that his brother is medicated and has received treatment for two decades. At first, when we first found out he was going to go to a psychiatric facility, we said to ourselves, we said, maybe this is the best thing for him. It was a blessing. How do you feel now? At this point, there's no possibility that we could have been more wrong. There are roughly 200 patients in the Eleanor Slater system. The minimum length of stay is less than one week. The maximum length of stay is a patient that has been there for 63 years. The average length of stay is just over nine years. Data shows 77% of patients in the system are male, 23% are female. I can sleep knowing that my son is in good hands. Pacheco thinks mixing medical and psychiatric patients is weighing down the entire hospital system and the state should separate the mental health units in Cranston from the medical facility in Boroughville. The two shouldn't be listed as, as under one umbrella. It shouldn't be. They're totally different. 
this is a long-term care facility for people with medical issues. But doing that would cost money. A spokesperson for the state's behavioral health department tells Target 12, we continue to evaluate the recommendation to remove the Benton forensic facility from the Eleanor Slater hospital license and create an independent psychiatric hospital. Adam. Pacheco says despite her frustrations, Adam is getting exceptional care. Our interview was interrupted by a nurse checking in on Adam. Well, we saw it right there, didn't we? This is this is the way they are up here. You know, they're, they're all so caring and loving and it would be a sin. It would be a sin to take this away. Excuse me, I'm sorry. Eleanor Slater's long-term future is still being debated, but Governor Dan McKee has repeatedly said he has no plans to close the Zamborano facility. With the Target 12 investigators, Tim White, 12 News.